for the two streams that will be starting for. Oh, Child Music has started. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make an announcement for Child Music. Uh, yeah, how do uh, we do uh, one? How do, so is it so the streams for all this uh, for main stage and or wait, is that what it is? Yeah, main stage and stuff. Is that all on like the site or? Right, right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. All right. Well, I'm yeah, gonna do other you. stuff. I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. I'm going to get to. I'm going to be tagging the Rift City in a post on Twitter. I'm gonna. I'm making an announcement. Show at Music FX is live now. Check him out here, and then I'll be making an um if. Hojo, when your stream's up, just make the same announcements for you, and I'll do the announcement for um, a double. I will. Yeah. All right. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. This is coming out of the wrong microphone input, but let me switch over the sources. Um, and I shall get everything on underway. Yeah. Apply. Okay. So, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my stream. We're going to have a chill stream. And we're going to do plushy stuff. I love plushy stream. We're going to have uh -oh. a chill stream. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry about the technical difficulties in... Uh... Oh, man. I didn't edit this. Uh, oops. This is still quarantine pixel art. Eesh. Uh, how do I edit this? Uh, oh, I'm not on my main account. I'm still on the Ponies Online account. Ugh. Come on, let's get our stuff into gear. Oh, do, 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 do. All right. Hello. Check this out. This is my plush. This is a uh, a plush I uh, got from a what you call it, hibiscus stitch in the vendor's hall. Uh, she upgraded me to, for free from a handheld to a little bit larger of a plush. She was very that was very nice of her and. It's just a little squishy. This is my little OC that I have. All right. Save. Okay. That was, but I think I'm doing everything right. I don't know. Uh-oh. There we go. Sorry. I learned last second that I was doing the... Um... Opening ceremony, so... I was- it was a little bit of a panic and everything, but everything's good now. So, my panel is going to be about plushies and all what I do with them. Not anything like that. This is a child-friendly stream. Ah! I just dropped everything. I'm sorry. I hope you both can forgive me. It's hot in here. Hi. 
So, I recently was in contact with a few people, and I got this thing. Does anybody here know what this is? This is actually a plushie stand from Build-A-Bear. Apparently, you can just buy these at Build-A-Bear, and they will actually sell them. This one costs around $5, but what you didn't know is that they have a engraving on the bottom. And the engraving says Kaiser. So if we go ahead and look up what Kaiser is, we can actually find that the plushies are actually sold. The plushie stands are actually sold on Amazon. So I went ahead and bought a few. And I actually use these... Uh, pretty frequently and they're really good for vendors especially if you want to like display your products like gorgeously like that and then there's of course the cake rotating platform where you can just have a cake rotating i would have all this stuff with me but the fact of the matter is i ran away from home like two days ago so what can you do? Made the announcement. Yes, I did make the announcement. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I'm a bit, all my notes I had for this con were kind of thrown out the window. So I'm having to make new plans and everything. Hold on. This is bugging me. Uh-oh. What was that? I just dented my computer case. Fun. Or fuff, as the online pony conventions goers say. It actually kind of looks like a headphone stand, uh... PKM. But this is actually a a plushie stand. Build-A-Bear is the main ones who use these. These Kaiser plushie stands. K-A-I... K-A-I-S-E-R stands. Uh, and they're actually pretty cheap. They're around $3 a stand. And I think vendors actually could really use those. At a uh, regular vending halls, uh, online vendors hall probably not. Don't know how that would work. Just throw the plushy stand into the monitor. Did someone say fuff? I did. Um, I have a lot of plushies, <laughs> and you guys can't see it, but there is a plushie in my lap. So, this is actually the Lucas of the Spider plush. Uh, whoever remembers Lucas the Spider, he's actually coming out with a TV show now. And this is actually the first edition plush that he made. And sold on, uh, I think it was Teespring that he sold these plushes on. And I really like it because... It actually looks like official and everything because you even have like the little Lucas the Spider tag. It's an adorable little spider. And the entire reason... Oh, I have huge arachnophobia. And this would typically scare me. But Lucas the Spider is actually helping me with a little bit with my arachnophobia. I'm glad about that.
so plushies can help you with your fears as well. I also have this. If anyone knows what this is, this is from a game called Baba Is You. This is, uh, Baba Is You is an indie game that, uh, bends the what you think of a puzzle game. And I made this plush, uh, at work one day. It was the first plush I have ever made, well, of this size. And I only made it with, uh, just this bag right here of materials. We have cloth. This is, uh, ultra fluffy from, uh, Joanne's fabric. And we have, uh, polyester filament, foam. And, of course, string. Let me grab one of these needles and threads out of the thing, because I'm going to be demonstrating something else with this later. But yeah, just some some white thread, so I didn't want to show my uh, seam marks. But actually, even if I used a black thread, you still wouldn't be able to see the seam marks because of the way I actually sewed it. But I used a uh, a blanket stitch for it, which is, if you don't know, you just take a little cloth when it's like this, and you just go in, out, in, at, in, out, in, out, along one side. It's the type of stitch that, you, that uh, sewing machines do. Well, some sewing machines, basic sewing machines. And... At that point, uh, the when you flip it inside out, it actually makes the little thing that makes a seamless trans uh, seam. There's of course the overhands uh, uh, thread overhand overhand uh, sewing sewing pattern where you just take it and do a overhand stitch i can show that that on this little toy right here my dog loves to chew up uh these but he knows the difference between my plushies and his because he's a good boy you could always use like a little threader but i'm a maniac and i don't like them Eh. And I can always get it first try. Heh <laughs> heh. Heh. Huh. Welcome to 30 minutes of me trying to thread a needle. In an unsanitary way. Ah, I got it. Ha ha. I was actually surprised. That only took two tries. It's actually a membrane keyboard, if you didn't know. This is a Dell Quiet Key. It was made in the 1990s. Uh, it's actually the keyboard I grew up using uh, with our Windows 95 PC. And I've been using basically one keyboard my entire life. Because I love it. Awesome. No problem. Lurking's completely fine here. For something like dog to toys, uh... Let me get the other camera out. For something like dog toys, the overhand stitch is completely fine. It'll be very visible. But when you... But if you notice right like this, it's going to be very quickly. And just like that, one hole is sewn together.
just like that. That little hole that was there, now completely gone. I love uh, plushies and all they do. I saw I it, since uh, it's a dog toy. I like to go back over it twice, and just to make sure it has a nice. Steady seal on it. Please get scissors and, uh, if you're going to do this at home, please get scissors and, uh, what you call it? Please get scissors and, uh, mind, go blank. Uh, Please get scissors and a needle threader, if you can, at home. Because if you're doing this by hand, if you're using a sewing machine, kudos to you, because I still don't know how to use one of those. I should get my grandmother to teach me sometime, though. I don't have a sewing machine, either. Um, I just use a my hands to sew all my uh, creations. See, I don't want to make this pretty because it's a dog toy. He's going to try and rip this apart anyways. But something like this, it's really easy just to do the overhand, 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 overhand. Um, let me flip it inside out, and then I'm going to try the other method. Okay, got a needle, got some thread. So sewing machines are actually pretty cheap nowadays. Um, I'd recommend getting like a little twenty-one dollar, twenty-dollar one if you're just wanting to try it out. Then go for something more expensive like an embroidery machine if you really want to make a business out of it. Like, there are so many good plushie vendors. I know for a fact our convention has two plushie vendors. Count them. Two in the vendors hall right now. Both of them are uh pretty cool. Um, they are Outlaw Creations, uh, the plushie vendors are Outlaw Creations and, uh, Outlaw Creations and, uh, I can't remember the other term. Oh, Hibiscus Stitch. How could I forget? You know, she's the one I... Who made this thing? She my friend. She's awesome. I highly recommend you commission her if you're if you want to get a plushie done. If you want like tiny beanie plushies, that's where you go. F you go to Outlaw Creations. Uh, they also do a uh, custom etched glassware. They're awesome. You're going to hear me say that's awesome a lot, because it is. It, they're awesome, but online as well. Don't tempt the fates, though. And make sure you, uh, if you're willing to get a uh, commission done, don't lead people on. They hate that. I can't tie a knot. Does that tie a knot? Oh yeah, I tied a knot. Yay. Ha ha. Knot has been tied. So. Let me show you all what a blanket stitch is. A blanket stitch 
is instead of going around, 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 a blanket stitch is a little bit different where you just go like this. You weave in and out. You don't bring it over the uh, the hole. And the way you do this is you just take it, take it like this, push it through, push it through right here. Hooray for 720p cameras. Uh, and then you go the same, the same, do the same thing for the other side. And this is definitely more time consuming, but what you, what ends up happening is you end up with a clean s stitch that is invisible from the outside when you flip it inside out. If you notice, you don't really see those seam marks. It just looks kind of uniform. I kind of made it obvious right here so I can make it look like he's kind of smiling. Because I have a funny personality. I use little buttons for eyes as well. Look at that. I so I did this entirely from scratch at work one day. Because it was a slow day. Yeah, rip keyboard. This thing's fine though. It's gone through so much. Um, if you notice right here, there's like a little chip in it. That's not, uh, that's not from, uh, falling down or anything. That's just from general wear and tear over the years. This thing is very old, has some pony stickers on it as well, but it's awesome. I love it. I'm actually thinking, yeah, let's, let me go, uh, switch my scenes so that I can, uh, check something out. There we go. Hey guys, this is my streaming setup. Yay. Let's go to the vendor's hall. So, I actually want to look at Hibiscus Stitches, what she has on display. So she has these little these little uh plushies right here. The th the uh thirty dollar, thirty dollar, thirty dollar. Rainbow Dash is probably more expensive. For one, she's probably in high demand, and for two, she takes a lot more effort to make because of all the colors of her hair. I love that tiny little Applejack hat. I came here to look at uh, the plushies, not the buttons. Scrolling up. See, she has an embroidering machine as well. So she can make cutie marks, that sort of thing. So if you want to commission her for that sort of thing, just go ahead and DM her and see what she can do for you. There's also uh, this. This is her most popular plush, I think. This Yona, it's so well made, it's so uh, original, and this is her most one of her most expensive plushes as well. This one's a five hundred dollars, but I think actually it's worth it. You can she see that she's she knows her craft because she's been do, making plushes for years. She also has these hammerhead shark plushies that are absolutely adorable. Oh, I love plushies. Let's see Outlaw Creation. I don't think Outlaw Creations has anything on display besides this small little corner right here. These beanie plushes. Yeah. They have a bunch of beanie plushes. <laughs> For sale as well. But this con's been super awesome with the plushie community as well. 
if you guys have any th- plushies to show off, uh, feel free to post pictures in ar- art share because I would love to see that. I absolutely love plushies. I'm actually going to do this. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. No one posted a picture of a plush. That I is sad. I is sad. No plushy pictures. Hmm. Well then, let's go back to first person camera. Yes. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it was already on. Eh. Hey! Ah, my nose. I loved doing this uh panel at Hawkon. It was my favorite panel to do. It still is my favorite panel. Uh Ugh, my mouse fell. <laughs> right now I'm sewing up the uh The what you call it? Mind went blank again. Hi, my mind's blank. Do 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 do. Mind, come back to me. I don't remember what I was gonna say. How many plushies have I made? Uh, less than you might think. I think I've made around three in total. Two handhelds, one uh, regular. My dog's gonna love the fact that I'm that I'm sewing together his his toy. He's going to tear this apart instantly today. As soon as I'm done working on it, and then I'll do repeat the process over again. Up, he heard me say dog, so he's actually starting to come to me. Hey, kite, can you come here? How's the camera? Let me see. Look at him. He's a Shiba. He's smiling. He loves me. He's a very good boy. He's a squinty Shiba. He smiles whenever I do this. Um, am I repairing your toy? Am I repairing your toy, your vicious, vicious Shiba? Uh, let me see. Is that the hole repaired? Uh, I, it's almost. I think I almost have it done. Yeah, that should do it. I think I messed up a little bit. I got string stuck in my mouth. I'm actually curious on how this did, because I'm actually not sure how, uh... Sticks can be an innovative solution. And that's a good point. So where did I do this one? <laughs> well, I did not do this the as cleanly as I thought. And did not, def, I definitely did not tighten the strings when I did this. So, if this was like an actual plush I was working on, I'd be a little bit more careful, but 
that's what that looks like. It's not the best. Not the best patch job at all. Because normally it's supposed to look a little bit like this. It's supposed to look like this with a. Uh, with that type of stitching. I uh, don't even see if it's coming up properly. Come on, camera, focus. Focus, camera. Focus, camera. Oh. Welp. And once you're done sewing that hole up, I guess it's time for the next step to the, for the plushie. The stuffing. Honestly, I use a uh, polyester. Because I'm cheap. And honestly, it's fluffy enough. But I see people go all out for the stuffing of their plushes. Um, oh my goodness, it's blinding. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I'm stuffing a plush. He's going to take all this stuffing out of it later. Because he's a good boy. Now I have one hole left to sew up. I'm going to leave the head deflated because... He, he'll, uh... He won't mind. Yeah, he loves his little plush toys. Um... I also love his little squeakers, but I'm not going to put a squeaker in here this time. But what was I saying earlier about the, what you call it, the fluff inside? This is a plush, a giant plush called Gloomichon. They are really popular in Japan. Um, and the interior of it is made of this... Uh, how can I say? Very, very soft material. It is one of the softest materials I have. There's also this company made that, uh, the company that made this is Morichak. Am I saying that right? Morichak, I think it is. But this is a crane game prize only. I really want to go to Japan. Oh my goodness. Once all this stuff blows over, I'm really hoping to go to Japan. Um, if I could, if I could, I would just live in Japan for like three months straight just to get uh, the uh, entire feel of the country. I would love that. But I love Japan and all all that's in it. They are a beautiful country. I'd move there if I could. But I have family here. So I shan't. South Korea is good. South Korea is also very good. I especially love their. If I would go to South Korea. I'd try to get a tour of. Animation facilities. Uh, main reason being because I love uh, I love what they do for the anime community. Most online anime is done by a South Korean uh, industry. So it's actually really nice to see them. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know what this was, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. This is a... A sea sea bronies, not quantum sea pony, but sea bronies, uh, plushy. They uh, they were doing this thing where if I donated forty dollars to a charity, they would send me a plush. So I said yes. I donated forty dollars. They sent me a collector's coin, a pin, and a plush. 
and all for donating for uh, a good cause, the uh, company that gives masks to people on the front lines. Yeah. It's really difficult to get to North Korea. It's like really, really difficult to get to North Korea. I've wanted to go, but I I don't think I would be able to go because of the restrictions I would be put upon. I would love to just walk around and do my own thing, but the tour guides would not let you. And just saying that line will pro probably guarantee me non-entry into the country on their under their current rule. There have beautiful architecture that most of the world does not get to see because of their uh, closed borders. Yep. Some guy got arrested, uh, and he got, uh, we think he got tortured because of the way he acted when he got back to the States. And he bawled his eyes out over, and was crying over stealing one poster. I love exploring. I've already been to multiple countries uh, I think the main country I went to was uh, London. So I've been to the United States, Canada, London, uh, Sweden, and Paris uh, with a layover in Germany and Norway. I, for Sweden, what I did is, uh, Basically, in order to get through customs, I had I had I was riding with my Swedish friend, and we told uh we told the customs guard, "All right, I'm riding with him. I'm going to be." Where, he asked me where I was going to staying. I said, "I'm going to be staying with him. I'm going to be staying here for the next two weeks." Uh, and he said, "All right. Oh, don't get down. You can. There's always the future." Hopefully, hopefully this blows off quickly and we'll, everyone will be able to travel abroad, go stocks up, make some money, and then travel with those funds. Um, the pyramid type thing in, um, no, I didn't go to the, uh, the Louvre. I didn't find the art scene very interesting over there. I found the street the street performers a lot more interesting than the art, art world in uh Paris. I of course went to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Um top of the Eiffel Tower, catacombs and uh Arc de Triomphe. Um I actually brought a rain little tiny beanie baby rainbow dash plushie to um all the way to uh Paris and I started taking pictures of of her like on every single thing and it was actually kind of cool just like having these pictures of of my tiny little beanie baby rainbow dash that went with me across the world that gets to trap and traveled more than anyone does in their entire life. I've never been to Croatia either. Uh Seems interesting. Um I'm trying to remember what I, what all plushies I bought in uh Yes, because I can't just go anywhere and not buy a plushie. I bought, I think I actually bought a Beanie Baby plush in Paris. The same Beanie Baby plushes you can buy here. 
I'm trying to remember what other what other plushies I bought. Um, I think I blew the rest of my money on Legos. I found their Lego store very enticing. I bought a hat, I bought a flag, and I bought some Legos. <laughs> I bought a flag of every place I went to except for Paris. Um, I bought Legos instead. I just spent all the remaining money on the Legos. <laughs> I love Legos for some reason. <laughs> and this isn't like when I was a little kid or anything. No, I was a grown man traveling on my own, buying Legos in a Lego store. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh. Uh, Crimson, do you know that on top of the Eiffel Tower, they actually serve champagne? It's amazing. It's just like, you're on the top of the, sh on the Eiffel Tower, you want some bubbly? <laughs> ah. I love it. I love traveling so much. It's just a shame I can't do it right now. Uh, I hopefully will in the future. Um, when all these this uh virus goes away, I'll be able to travel, s travel abroad, see the stars, have fun. Um, sorry if it seems a uh, if it seems like I'm ranting a bit. I just. <laughs> I'm just, uh, happy to talk about plushies and traveling abroad. It's a difference, uh, between me talking about plushies and traveling abroad than what I normally talk about, which is stocks and three printers. Um. Because <laughs> that's typically all I talk about in my free time is stocks and 3D printers. Speaking of 3D printers, there is a lovely... Lovely 3D printer panel coming up. Uh, so the other two plushies I made was one was at, actually at BronyCon. It was this uh, tiny little plushie that you can buy these little kits and then they'll just you can buy a kit and then they'll help you out through make like experienced plushie makers will help you create the plush inside the panel. And I thought Oh, this is actually really awesome. I did it. I made a plush. Uh, they had two versions. One from straight raw, just materials. They give you scissors, materials, and tell you, go for it. And one that was already cut up and sewn together. You just had to stuff it, sew the head on, and horns and wings, if you wanted. And then they did spaghetti hair. I didn't like that. So what I did is I made a... Uh, my own hair for them. Uh, if you don't know what spaghetti hair, it's the uh, yarn. Bronicon did get shut down in uh, 2019. Un unfortunately. Unfortunately. And the other plush I made was actually... <laughs> You might find this funny. A pancake. I made a plushie of a pancake at a plushie panel. Plushie panels are actually kind of awesome in con cons. Because you can go there and see, like, all of a sudden, alright, some have plushie kits, some don't. But I typically run mine without a, pl without a kit. And I bring, like, an entire array of plushies. I, uh, my last time I did the plushie panel... The entire table was filled from from end to end with plushies of My Little Pony. And people just walked in, double took, and then walked in. Because what brings more attention than buying some from than bringing some plushies? <laughs> English. It's my first language, I think. Ugh. <laughs> uh. But 
if you want to get a hibiscus stitch, she uses lovely minky, minky fabric. It's not the cheap stuff either. It's like really good. And what she did for me is she actually divided the layers. So this is actually a different material. Excuse me, that was a burp. This is actually a different material than this on the bottom. So she she used a kind of felt like material on the bottom while Minky on the top to actually give it a different texture. And I actually really love that. And then she did like the big goofy eyes like I told her and she was as awesome. I gave her complete creative freedom with this and she did an amazing job with it. And she only had 2D images to reference off of. A person made this with only 2D images to reference off it. It's amazing what people can do when they have the talent. If you give a if you give a com, if you do a commission and have total freedom for the uh and give her total fr and give them total freedom for the uh creative process, they will go nuts and they will actually give you a really good product. Um, you could also be very specific, uh, and and some. Well, I'm gonna say some artists are particular about super specific, like saying if you don't like my art style, get out. But some of them, some of them are really, really specific when you ask them to do something. I got a. I got a what you call it done. Um, mind went blank again. I had a commission done by Sam Green Media. He's the one who did my uh, original. He did the original logo and everything. And that's the, the reference images I gave for her to make uh, my plushie right there. Um I think I can pull it up on my phone real quick because this <laughs> I have like I love doing this thing with the with the his commission he gave me uh quote unquote gave me I paid for it. But then I have something like Uh, this. Up, oh, hold on. I just have so many pictures on my phone. It's amazing. Uh, the amount of people wanting to do stuff with my OC is amazing, especially since they just like what it looks like. It's just a septopus on top of a horse on the bottom of a horse head. Yep. People are amazing. People are truly, truly amazing. And I can't thank the artists enough. If you want to subscribe to Sam Green Media, he has over a million subscribers on YouTube. And he does Twitch streaming as well. He has commissions open sometime. And I highly recommend you get a commission done from him if you could. You have the name backing it. You have a good cartoon artist. And he's the guy who does the epic mind quest stuff, so you know it's legitimate. Um, there's also the uh, there's also uh, which call it that did my uh squishy riddle of lightning. They're also amazing. I highly recommend you checking them out. They're they're style is so simplistic that it's amazing they are actually the ones who did who created the original concept of that design of that i showed them my oc we were talking and and chat joking around and then all of a sudden he gave me this i was like i love it i really love it i'm going to commission as many people as i can to to do this and there my, went my journey i got a commission from cadet red shirt um, cadet red shirt and one other person at BronyCon. I can't remember their name. I can't. I don't have the. I don't have the commissions on hand because 
Again, I ran away from home. Fun. Um, but I think I think I know of one other person. Uh, I might have saved their name. Let me check. Let me check and see if their name got saved along with the picture. So we have Riddle, Riddle of Lightning there. Uh, what else? Uh, does this tell me who did it? Nope. I won't post it unless I can give a uh, proper thanks to the person. So, yes, I did run away from home. Um, I'm currently at my grandmother's. Uh, some family complications. I won't go into too much details, but I'm I'm safe right now, and I feel safe because my grandparents are truly amazing people. I'm really happy that they were able to help me out, get me in, and that I could set up this con and have it streamed from their house. I'm truly happy right now. Uh, happy. I brought a few plushies with me so I could do the panel. Uh, if it seems like I'm kind of everywhere, that's because... Like in my conversations, it's because... The original plan was to have all my plushies, like, go through a bunch of different stories with them and everything. Can't do that. Don't have my plushie collection with me. I have around five plushies with me. In order to bring my entire plushie collection with me, it would have taken at least five hours of driving. Because of driving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I love plushies. I love uh fixing them for my dog. I love the community that plushies have brought upon us. And I love the My Little Pony community especially because the My Little Pony community is awesome. And I'm glad I could help do this con with people. Uh, I'm starting to tear up. I'm just like so happy I'm starting to tear up. I do spend lots of time with my grandmother. I truly love my grandparents. They're amazing people. Um, one other thing. I can't remember. Ah, what is that? That's dust. I don't have my plushie vacuum. I actually have a specific vacuum for plushies. Um, at my house, it's a pro heat, uh, Bissell. That's a liquid vacuum as well as a, uh, as a regular vacuum. So it actually can really get out dirt really well. And there's a little bit of dust right here that... If you didn't know, Ultra Fluffy picks up dust really, really, uh, well. How should I say? If well is, is the right word for it. Um, and you really need a, a vacuum or a professional cleaner to help clean you at, clean your plushies. I've started offering that to people at conventions. Um, well, physical ones, that is. Um, and I hope to be doing that again soon. Uh, as soon as the country opens back up, we would be able to get every, start washing people's plushies. Actually, probably a lot of people are washing plushies now due to the COVID and just to entertain themselves. Oh, excuse me. Wow. 
That's amazing, Jerry. That's amazing. Or is that Gary? Gary or Jerry? I can't tell. <laughs> Not everyone can get plushies, unfortunately, due to uh, family restrictions. Like, I know for a fact uh, some families don't allow their their uh, family members to have plushies, and some of them don't. Um, that's for them. I recommend like a small plush toy that doesn't look like it's from the show or anything. Uh, do you not want to play with the toy I just repaired for you? Mm -hmm. My dog's so sleepy right now. It's amazing. He's adorable. Hold on. I want to show you this. I just threw the toy at him. Nope. He's afraid of the tripod. Come here, kite. Oh, he's laying his little chin in my hand. Oh, he's such a boy. I'm. If you can't tell, I have ADHD. <laughs> it's like, ooh, shiny. Uh, or ADOS, as some people call it. Attention deficit. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Look at all. So you see these little white things? Those are all the cotton from the polyester from that uh, plush that he's ripped up. I'm going to go s later on today. I'm going to go gather all those little little cotton balls, stuff it in there, and sew it back up so he can just rip it apart again and restart the process because he loves doing that in his spare time. He's a good boy. I've actually trained that dog to... Uh, I've actually trained that dog to not actually touch my plushes. Unless he will not touch a plush unless it's offered to him. And I think that's an amazing thing I've taught this dog. Don't touch plushies that isn't his. And he is so good. Look at that. He puts his ears back and he just loves this. He's actually only three years old. He's such a good boy. He is such the goodest doggo. I love Kite. I do have a Shibi. Is Shibi Inu? He's a good boy. Hey, Kite. Are you a good boy? Oh, yes, you are. He squints his eyes, puts his ears back, and he tells you, please keep doing this. He loves this. Why'd you stop petting me? <laughs> How many plushies do I have? Uh, probably around 50. Yep, three minutes. That's all we have. So, I actually probably have around 50 plushes at home. Um, it's my dog himself has, he has around five to six plushies of his and he just rips them apart daily i have to sew up so many so i'm actually probably going to head off now uh i want to give a big shout out to the next panelist who i shall send you to let me go here to the schedule um my i really recommend if you if you'd like, like, repairing and stuff like that, or or plushies, I recommend giving Cosplay a look at, so go check them out after this. Uh, as well as later today, I'm probably going to be a... Be sh I'm going to be running the charity auction, and I'm going to also be... Uh, 
attending the pony trivia night. I, uh, hey, John, uh, I have a question for you. Do you know if, uh, there will be, I can set up something in the Discord, but do you know how many teams there's going to be allowed this time around? Or are you just not going to have a limit? Uh, because Trivia Nights also it has is uh is a really really fun panel. Uh, fifty. Okay. Well, you heard the man. Fifty. Get your team in early, and remember you can have teams of like I think up to ten people. So I'll make a like a bunch of chat rooms for people to talk in. So people can uh talk in the live streams. Six per team. Six per team. Not ten. I'll talk to y'all later. That was a scam caller. <laughs> um on my phone, but Thank you. Uh, go check out the next stream. I'm going to post a link to it now. Uh, it's called Cosplay on a Budget. Uh, let me go grab a link for you so you guys can head over there now. It's going to be on Twitch. If you can't talk on Twitch, we, al we always have a... Uh, you can always talk in the Discord channel. But there's the link to the next stream. We also have AWOL's concert that's still going on. Uh, let me get you that link as well. Here is AWOL's concert. If you don't have Twitch, you don't. It's not a problem. You can always talk in the Discord channel. Uh, we have a area specific for like main stage, second stage, uh, music stage, that sort of thing. It looks like everyone's just hanging out in the main stage right now. So that's pretty good. So I'll talk to you all later. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming around. I've gone through so much stress for a couple days. Y'all are making it so much relief for me. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Hmm.